Hello everyone and welcome to part 1 of our video series on how to use Goodwill Giga Web. In today's video, the topics to be covered are First, we'll teach you how to check your balance in Goodwill Giga Web. Next, we'll teach you how to create a market watch. Thirdly, we'll teach you how to add scripts to that market watch. Fourth, we will give you a brief introduction as to how you can go about placing orders in Goodwill Giga Web. Now let us move to our Goodwill Giga Web login. This is the dashboard of our Goodwill Giga Web login portal. In order to check your balance, you can simply scroll down here and check your available funds here. To add funds, you can click here, which has already been covered in our pay in and payout video. Now let us move on to how to add a market watch. In order to create a market watch list, you need to first move to watch list option as you can see here. Click on it. As you can see, I have already added a test watch list which has the Nifty Future script added to it. In order to create a new watch list, just click on this small arrow here and click on add watch list. Now name your watch list. In this case, let me name it Giga Web Test and save it. Since the watch list is empty, you will be prompted to add a script first. Let me add a script Nifty Bees. Click on plus and as you can see, it will prompt you to save the script to your new watch list. Click on save and you will be prompted with a message which shows you that the Giga Web test watch list has been created successfully. Now how do you go about adding more scripts? Simple. Click on the search symbol available here. Type the first three alphabets of the script you want to trade in and click on the plus button and click on save. Next say I would like to add a nifty options contract. Simple. Type in nifty the type of option which you would like to buy and the strike price say 17,200 and click on plus and save. As you can see, all the scripts which I have added have been added successfully to my watch list here. Now let us move on to how to place an order in these scripts. Suppose I would like to buy SBIN on an intraday basis, which is an MIS order. Simply select SBIN. As you can see on the right hand here, you will have the option to buy or sell. I would like to buy SBI, so I click on buy. I would like to place a limit order, click on limit. I would like to buy SBI at 460 rupees and I would like to place an MIS or a margin intraday square off also known as intraday order. Validity I'll keep it as day and I'll just simply submit my order. Now you will be asked to confirm your order details. As you can see, I would like to buy the order type is limit, product type MIS, validity day, quantity one and the price is 460. In case you would like to modify, just click on modify and it will reopen this particular window. I submit the order again and I confirm my order. Since the market has already closed and I also don't have funds in my newly opened account, the order has obviously gotten rejected. Click on done and you will be redirected to the order book where you can also see the reason for which the order has been rejected. With this, we have come to an end of the first part of our video on how to use Goodwill Giga Web. Thanks a lot for watching the video. For any issues, please feel free to contact our customer support by emailing us at customer support at the rate gwcindia.in. You can also WhatsApp us at 733-889-5491 or call us at 044-4032-9999. Happy trading!